Hello everyone. I recently hit 50 subscribers and thought I should show you something special. So, in this video, I will show you how I create my crash test clips for my favorite series Crash Test 2018. Obviously, showing you every crash test would be too long, so I will simply show you the head-on collision test, the recording, the editing and the final clip. Don't worry, I accelerated some parts of the video so you don't have to watch it for 30 minutes. Let's get started. Step 1. Loading and setting up the assets. First of all, I select the crash test hall which is a mod I downloaded. Once on the map, I select the car I want to test, preferably with a crash test skin. In this case, I'll take the Grand Marshal. It's a full-size car and it crashes very well. Then I select a second car, which I will use to get the AI going. I could drive the car myself, but it would be much slower and less precise. The Corvette is a good choice in this case, as I only need it as a focus point for the Marshall. I don't need any special skin on this car, since it won't be seen during the final clip. I drive the second car in the crash room so I can set it up for the AI. From experience I know where to position it for the overlap test, or the head-on collision test. Then, I turn off the engine, so it doesn't interfere with the other sounds during the recording. Step 2. Setting up and testing the AI. Now that the small car is here and positioned, I simply ask the marshal to chase it. There are no special options involved here, I simply select it in the radial option menu. Basically, this forces the marshal to head straight into the direction of the cavet. The crash wall being between the two, the marshal will eventually crash into it. After the first crash, I check the position of the marshal and I decide either or not the cavet needs to be moved more to the left or the right. This looks perfect. There is no need to change the position of the small car. Step 3. The recording session. Everything is set up for the recording. I can now reset the marshal as often as I want and take as many camera angles as necessary. At each reset, the marshal will speed up and crash into the wall. Basically, I automated the driving, so I can concentrate on the recording. Also, since I don't need to drive the marshal, I can manage the slow motions directly in-game and don't need to add them during the editing. I accelerate this part of the video for you. I generally take 3 to 4 different shots per test, and 1 damage report overview. Creating more shots would result in a clip length of over 10 minutes which, in my opinion, is too long. Once all the shots are taken, I stop the AI and place the damaged car in the middle of the room. I can then rotate around it for the damage review. Step 4. Editing the clips. Of course, after the recording session, I need to edit the clips and put them together. Keep in mind that this is only one crash test. 
I accelerated once again to keep it short. During this step, I always remove the parts that are not interesting like, too long driving sections, too long slow motion sections, parts where the mouse cursor is seen, and the parts where the AI still tries to get to the target car, even though it can't. Yes, the AI can be tricky, even during simple tasks. This is why I test and edit many of my clips heavily. As you can see in the timeline, major parts of the recorded material are deleted. This is normal because it's better to have too much material than not enough. Launching the game again just to record additional footage would be very time consuming. While editing, I always jump back to the beginning of the clip to watch it over and over again. This allows me to check the rhythm of the clip and the fading between two shots. And as always, at the end of the clip, I add my end screen. I think everybody knows it by now. Step 5. Adding music. Adding the music is easy and YouTube gives you everything you need. First, I check out the length of my clip. Then, I check the length of the intro, if I chose to have an intro scene. This is important, since the intro always features the sound of the game without music. Then I go in my creator studio and look for songs that are approximately as long as my clip. I prefer entire songs, rather than cutting off a song that might be too long. This one is nice, I save it and prepare it to be integrated into my clip. I transfer the song to my video edition tool and put it in the timeline. Now, let's test it out. Perfect. Step 6. Quality Assurance. With all the editing going on, errors happen. I usually check the clip at least 10 times and change minor elements, just to be sure that I didn't miss anything that could kill the immersion. Step 7. Exporting and checking the final clip. Once the clip is OK, I export it as MP4 file to my HDD. Sorry for the mess, my Windows is in French, tools are in German and the game is in English. Here I enter the name of the file to export, and double check all the options. I could upload it directly to YouTube using this tool, but I need to check the final product first. When the process is finished, I can finally watch the entire clip. And here it is. Thank you for staying with me so long.